that we are going to be not back to normal, but hoping to be shooting weddings again in October. <laughs> oh God, October. <sighs> As of today, the 4th of November, it has been 243 days since we last filmed a wedding. And I still remember at that wedding, the best men made a joke about coronavirus. So for those last 243 days, we were unemployed for a short while, postponed all the weddings for this year, canceled all our holidays, built a van, and then things were starting to look good around about September. We were thinking we might be back shooting weddings, October, November. And then Boris dropped the news that that's not happening. As we go into this second lick, lick down, lockdown, we thought weddings would be pretty much finished for us until at the very earliest May, let's say. But one couple thought, no, 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 we're getting married. So Abby and James, who were due to get married this month on the 15th of November, quickly contacted their venue and thought, we want to get married before lockdown. It was literally a day before lockdown. So they contacted uh, all the suppliers, um, when contacting us, they said, are you available on the 4th? Uh, initially, we weren't, but I said, right, we're going to do anything we can to be available. And so, we have our second wedding of 2020. So with that in mind, it was time to blow the dust off the old uh, video capturing device. Grab the old flying camera. It's been seven months, I can't remember the names of these things. So let's grab a mask. We are off to a wedding. So how did that go? Now, the weather was perfect. It had that proper autumnal look at Mitten Hall. Um, it was just lovely. It was, the, we had the ceremony, just a little bit, of, a few shots with sparklers instead of confetti because it was too dark by the time we got out. Um, and that's all was needed. But by the time I'd left, I didn't feel that we'd missed a big party. And I think that these sort of people calling them micro weddings um, i think that's a little bit too industrial for my liking so i'm going to call them teeny weeny weddings uh, so these teeny weeny weddings um i think they're really kind of capturing what weddings used to be like where it was just about the ceremony uh, the couple getting married and that was it so abby and james sort of enjoyed that with the closest friends and family, 15 of them. Now I'd just like to clarify that these two are having the full wedding next year. Uh, they just wanted to do uh, the marriage before lockdown really. So essentially they're having two weddings. I think in 2021 uh, with these smaller weddings forced upon people, there's definitely going to be a change in how they're planned. Um, because wedding magazines and sort of blogs will tell you that you must have this sort of tick list, but no. Whatever's most important to you, if you just want to have the ceremony and a meal, if you just want to have the ceremony and go home, that's completely up to you. But from my experience from shooting this one yesterday, as long as you have the ceremony and your chosen guests, that's all you need. So as of today, we've gone back into the second lockdown. I hope you all stay safe. Um, who knows when we'll be back filming weddings again, but for now, Merry Christmas. <laughs>